Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about The Amazing Spider-Man number 252. So this right here might look familiar to you, and that's because the cover is a homage to The Amazing Fantasy number 15. And if you don't know anything about The Amazing Fantasy number 15, well, I suggest you looking it up because it is a very, very big comic, um, especially for Spider-Man. In fact, it's like one of the biggest comics as far as value goes out there. Um, at least having record sales. The um, the importance of this actual comic, though, is this is the first appearance for the uh, symbiont. So the black suit Spider-Man that you see here is the uh, this is the first appearance of that, which later on we'll find out is Venom. Um, you will see some debates out there as far as Secret Wars number eight being the first appearance. But if you were to do some research, you'll find out that 252 is the first appearance. And if you were to dig even deeper than that, you're going to discover that there's actually a couple other comics with the Black Suit Spider-Man um, that came out before Secret Wars number 8. Now, that doesn't mean Secret Wars number 8 is not... Um, I'm not trying to throw any type of shade on it. I just wanted to kind of squash the argument that um, 252 is what gets credit for the uh, symbiote uh, first appearance. Now moving on, as far as um, editions goes, this will be the lowest edition comic that has ever came out on VV. There's only 1,000 of these um, being produced. That is extremely low. I'm actually uh, borderline baffled by the decision, but uh, hey, it is what it is. So. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my hands on even the common unless um, I do some good trades. Maybe I can do some some flipping, but um, yeah, the I can't imagine what the prices are going to be, but I I would like to believe they're going to be something insane. Um, this is crazy to me. So if you don't know, like the commons, they're only going to be like 425. There'll be 260 uncommons, 175 rares. 100 ultra rares and only 40 secret rares the comic value itself is somewhere around 4100 for the fair market value and that's for like a 9.9 uh, .9. so it's not even the 9.8s so the 9.8s are actually less so there are some 9.9s floating around for this comic and that's the reason why the value is so high for that but if you were to if you're somebody who normally just buys 9.8s know that you can get this for a lot less for about a thousand dollars or so the um, VV exclusive variants are in play for this comic. That's going to apply for the rare and the ultra rare. And I think they look really good. The artist for it was Philip Tan. And he's done some covers before for the Amazing Spider-Man, the newer ones. Um, so I thought he did a really good job on this one. I'm actually impressed the way it looks. And even the secret rare looks good to me. I actually... Um, thought like i know it sounds silly but like the font the blue font I actually thought looked really good with this uh secret rare it is going to be unfortunate though that i'm not going to be able to you know, get my hands on that ultra rare because i have a feeling it's probably going to be worth like anywhere from i would imagine anywhere from three to ten thousand dollars like for real like i i have a feeling that people are going to use the scarcity and have the prices on this thing like through the roof it's going to be nuts i'm real curious to see how this plays it's uh it's unfortunate for all the people that actually just like collecting you know that is my one gripe with it i know we are collectors and scarcity is always nice but dang i don't know about 1000 comics i think that's very low that means um you know, if you are into just collecting, because you'll find out that I, I like to collect a lot of these comic book covers. I don't really care if they're in my E tier or my D tier. It's not, you know, I, I collect them because I like them. So this is one of the comic book covers that I actually uh, really liked. And I guess I won't be able to get it. So apologize for the rant, but just giving you my, my two cents. So if you feel like you're in the same boat, you're not alone. But um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to add for this comic. It is really neat to see. It is a C tier. And uh, remember, just because it's a C tier does not mean it's not valuable. You know, that's the reason why I have the notes associated with it to let you know it is a low edition comic. And so the prices are probably going to be like Diamond Club prices pretty much. Um, 
so let's let's see what happens um good luck to everybody and as always thank you for watching